Hi everyone, I'm Raul and today I'm going to show you how to use a terrain tool in D5 Render. First, you want to make sure that you have a terrain layer created within your project. Whenever you start a new project, this is going to happen automatically, but in case it doesn't or if you accidentally delete it, all you have to do is come over to the terrain tab and just hit terrain. Then D5 is going to generate that terrain layer for you one more time. The next thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you're working within it. Uh, with the area that's close to the area you're supposed to be working with just because if it's too big and you start populating it just puts a lot more strain in your computer and it's going to slow things down for you so the way you adjust the square is if you come over to terrain you hit manage under this tab here and then you can see here that this square is 4,000 uh, square meters which is massive so let's go ahead and make this a little smaller i don't need it to be that big for this tutorial Let's go with 1500 uh, square meters. And then you can see how it made it smaller. The next thing you want to do is you want to actually start populating your scene or creating the topography. But the way you do this is there's essentially two ways. The first one is if you come over to Sculpt, these are going to be the tools that you uh, get to create the topography, which is upward, downward, erase, uh, smooth, and flatten. And then you would just select whatever you want to use and then here are the properties for it. Under size is how big you want your brush to be. For the strength is how fast you want the uh, hill to go up or if you have like a crevice how fast you want it to go down. And then for the edge fall of is how smooth of a transition you want from the center of your peak or whatever you're creating to the essentially the, the foothills right. And then the other cool thing here you have are brush textures. These are presets from D5 that uh, give it a little more uh, playfulness to what the terrain is going to look like. For example, here, this one looks like a volcano. And all you would do is come up once you select your brush, come over to your area and you would just with the right click, you would just click. And as you hold, it's going to start making it taller and you can just uh, keep on holding it and you can drag it around and it's going to start shifting topography for you. The next option that you can do is going to be if you hit terrain and you hit this plus button, these are going to be presets that D5 has built in. These are very detailed models, which I like to use. And all you would do is kind of like any asset or material is you would just select what you want and then you would just bring it into your scene. Uh, let's add another one. And like I was saying, right now this is being cut off because I made my scene be smaller or the area I'm working with, which is fine. And all you do is just drag it back to your center and it's gonna populate the full uh, preset. And then you can rotate these, you can make them bigger, smaller. Uh, another cool thing you can do is say you don't want this peaks here they're too tall if you go to your hit your terrain layer and you go to your scope make it go downward and make this a little smaller you can always mess with the terrain here also so for this tutorial i'm going to make this or turn this into a beach scene but the way i would do that is i would need to swap this green uh, grassland to be sand and also get rid of the snow that you have within the peaks uh, everything here is editable, so the way you would do it is you would just select your terrain and under the paint tab, this are going to be the materials that are being used to generate this terrain. So first, let's turn this into sand. The way you would do that is if you highlight the material itself, you click the three buttons and then you hit replace and then just type in beach. In my scenario, since I'm making it sand, and let's just select this material and there you can see how it all has been swapped to the sand material and then i want to get rid of the snow so again hit your terrain layer i don't like this so i'm going to replace this with whatever material this is which is rock 08 and then i'm just going to search for it rock 08 and it still looks a little different. So I'm just going to, actually it might look nicer if I just make the sand. So I'm just gonna try to do the beach 
material I was using before. And that looks kind of cool. looks a little better. Okay. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to add an ocean real quick. So the way you do that is you code your model. You go to your basic models. Make sure your search bar is clear. And just hit plane. Bring it into your scene. Uh, I'm going to type V to scale it. Make it a lot bigger. And then let's see where I want to put this puppy at. I think that's good. And the next thing I want to do is I'm going to assign it a water material. Uh, this is the scale is not right. So I'm going to go ahead and scale it here under stretch. a little better and then the next thing I want to do is I want to have a transition from for example the ocean to sand there's gonna be a wet sand area so I'm gonna make add that here uh, and the way I would do that is if you hit your terrain tool I'm just gonna duplicate this material which is beach 03 I believe but Beach 03. And then if you double click here, you're gonna see the settings for that material and I'm gonna make this a little darker. And then under my brush tool, I'm gonna make this smaller. I do wanna fall off. I don't want it to be too strong. And I want it to do something, be something like that. And just start painting. transition be a little better and then I can always bring the water level up a little higher be closer to that transition line and I think that looks pretty good if you want to change the shade of the wet sand you would just come to terrain double click this material again and then you can edit this and you can kind of see it live what it's changing to so let's go ahead and do that all right so now that we have the material selected for the dry sand the wet sand and the ocean let's go ahead and add some entourage to make this look a little more real The last thing I want to do is I want to create some uh, waves here. And the way I do that is you want to create a multimedia asset. So you want to come over to your assets. You want to go under model and basic model. And then you want to, again, just bring a plane into your scene. The next thing you want to do is you want to assign a specific material to this. So you want to hit I for inspector. Hit on the material and then make this be a multimedia asset. Then you want to, here under video and image, you want to double click that and you want to bring in your multimedia or your wave asset. And let's go ahead and open that. And I'm going to rotate this. And then just hit I. And there, make it transparent and you want to just make it so that you can see the waves.
And this is how I would make the scene using D5 Render. If you found the information helpful, please hit a like and subscribe. And if you have any questions for me, just drop them down below in the comment section. Again, I'm Raul and thanks for watching.